Now, before we get into the nitty gritty of what happened today, I just want to ask you, uh, is there still a sense that e-commerce is booming and UPS is a percentage of that? Or have we decided that somehow that world is slowing down and UPS is something you don't want to own? There's been a, a permanent shift in how consumers are shopping, and e-commerce sales are booming. But the rate of growth is not the same as it was last year when everyone was sheltering in place. And in fact, if you look at our performance in the second quarter, our average daily volume was down slightly in the United States. We predicted that. Because last year, one of our products called SurePost drove 53% of our total U.S. volume. We realized that when the economy started to open and stores reopened, consumers would go back into their stores. And we saw that happen. In fact, if you back out the SurePost-related volume, our, our average volume grew in the second quarter by 4%. Well, okay, all well and good, but what I think has happened here, what's transpired, is that because you told a story a second time, you had your analyst day, and this time, that there is some slowing, I think people decided, wait a second, UPS is no longer a growth stock, so get it off my sheet, so to speak. I want to sell UPS. But hasn't there been some value created since you've been here that's longer lasting, that produces a lot of cash, could produce a buyback, could produce a boost in the dividend? Oh, well, absolutely. You know, we're on a path to take our U.S. operating margin to 12% by 2023. Just this year, based on the guidance that we gave, we predict our U.S. operating margin will be over 10%. That's 240 basis points higher than last year and the highest operating margin since 2017. We've generated a lot of cash for the first six months of this year, $6.8 billion in free cash flow. That's more cash generated and any any in six months than we generated in any 12-month period in any time in our company history. And at our investor day back in June, we told everyone that we were changing our dividend payout target such that at the end of the year, we're going to look at our earnings and cut in them half. Our dividend payout target is 50% of earnings. So we're creating value by growing and returning our cash to our share owners. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.